Hi everybody, welcome. Welcome to this evening session wherein we'll be discussing about how legacy, the idea of legacy shapes our passion at uh, in the office. कैसे legacy मतलब हमारे आने वाला कल कैसे होगा ये सोच के हम कैसे आज के decisions लेते हैं क्या कभी भी आपने ये बात सोची है कि ये decision कैसे होते हैं so thank you for uh, being here in this show uh, बहुत सोचने के बाद ये Facebook में करूँ या फिर YouTube में करूँ ये सोचते सोचते मैंने finally सोचा कि YouTube में करूँगी क्योंकि फेसबुक में तो आ, रात साढ़े नौ बजे है और हो तो सकता है कि वीकेंड है तो लोग मस्ती में होंगे और मेरी मेरी इतनी भारी वर्कम बात कोई ना सके तो बिफोर आई प्रोसीड दोस्तों आप लोग तो यूट्यूब में हो ही बट आप अपने फ्रेंड्स को भी इसका शेयर कीजिए मुझे पता है कि ये जो मैं कर रही हूँ वो बिना दैट इज ओके फाइन बट इसमें आप ग्रुप में नहीं आओगे क्योंकि आई डील विद ए वेरी सेंसिटिव प्रोग्राम वीमेन का जो पर्सनल स्ट्रगल्स है उसको मैं हेल्प करती हूँ सो स्ट्रगल के बारे में दूसरों के सामने कोई कैसे बताएगा है ना बट मैं थोड़ा सा जानना चाहूंगी कि आपके स्ट्रगल्स आप जो भी सुन रहे हो मेरे भी काफी स्ट्रगल्स थे मेरे स्ट्रगल्स ऐसे थे कि आज ही मैं किसी को बता रही थी काफी दिनों तक मुझे पता भी नहीं चला कि मेरे स्ट्रगल्स नहीं और अभी मैं स्माइल इसलिए करती हूँ ना कि वो बात तो पुरानी हो चुकी है और उसके चलते जब था तो काफी पेन था तो आप भी अगर स्ट्रगल कर रहे होंगे तो काफी पेन में होंगे ऑफकोर्स लेकिन क्या आप ये मानते हो कि आप स्ट्रगल कर रहे हो क्योंकि मैंने भी मैं जब स्ट्रगल कर रही थी तब मुझे ये डर लगा बोलते हुए भी कि मैं स्ट्रगल कर रही हूँ क्योंकि उसमें भी जो सोशल बैकलैस होता है ना स्पेशली जब शादी के बारे में आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम्स हो तो सोसाइटी में लोग काफी सारा बात करते हैं मुझे याद है मैं किसी पूजा में जाती थी रेगुलरली एंड वहां पे किसी को पता नहीं था कि मेरे पर्सनल लाइफ में क्या चल रहा एंड सरन ने किसी को पता चला एंड उसके बाद से उनका रवैया जो मेरे लिए था वो बदल गया नेगेटिव हो गए काफी सारे अब ये ऊपर वाले की चालाकी बोलिए जो भी बोलिए उनके घर में सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम हुआ एक थोड़े सालों बाद अपने ऊपर जब गुजरता है कोई ये नहीं तो सोचता है ना कि किसी और के लिए नहीं करे करते रहते हैं लोग अनलेस दे से लेट दम से घर में होने से और अपने ऊपर होने दोनों में फर्क है तो आप चाहते हो किसी को एडवाइस दे कि कुछ करके उस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व किया जाए एक्चुअली ना क्या होता है कि जब आप प्रॉब्लम के अंदर होते हो ना आप तो युद्ध में होते हो ना मतलब मैदान के बीच होते हो स्ट्रगल कर रहे होते हो लड़ रहे होते हो उस टाइम में आपको कैसे पता चलेगा कि आप आपको क्या करना चाहिए आपको सेल्फ डिफेंस में जो भी करना है वो करे नहीं ऐसे ही कुछ मेरे साथ था कि सेल्फ डिफेंस में मुझे अब आप मैरिज में देखिए शादी में आप किसको अपने मतलब आपके स्पाउस आपका आपका एनिमी दुश्मन तो नहीं हो सकता सो so, घर तो आप दोनों का है नहीं दोनों घर में जब कुछ चल रहा होता है आपके पर, कभी आपको थोड़ा सा झुकना पड़ता है ये भी बातें आती है So, how how do you handle that? How do you handle that? So, for for many years, I was thinking 
that i i actually help people to uh, to overcome leadership issues and come to the forefront to lead and how do they do that is hi malini welcome to this show because you are here we can talk one to one if you like or else you can just listen to whatever i have to say your choice thank you so much uh, sangeeta i just saw the mail and i popped in into your call yeah okay so any uh, can, can i help you like say this is our first meeting so you can just uh, no or switch on your video as well and we can talk maybe one to one yeah sure please carry on and i'll raise my hand whenever i'm ready okay okay so i was speaking about uh, why how i come to become a women excellence coach that is what you have uh, read right that is what you have understood so before this i i used to be uh, mentoring people who are in leadership role so men and women both mostly men and i thought that uh, men um, actually they have leadership is a big issue both with men and women more with men but uh, given that whatever background from where i come from it was it was a uh, failed ma marriage of course but uh, i didn't see this as a problem this as a struggle i thought this is part of life you know this is this is what happens with many of the women in our society they think that this is part of life they have to deal with it and if they are working women then that is that is again that has to come so they have a choice where whether to accept this or accept that so most of the time women they they choose to take their uh, home life more importantly rather than their professional life and that is where they make a mistake because their own potential is there there is a calling for them their own inner calling so as a professional they think they have failed but if they leave the home out then also they feel, feel a guilt that they have haven't done enough for their home their husband their house their family so between this crisis like say this is a crossroad when women actually have their reproductive cycle and their professional cycle at the same time so they have to make this difficult choice and earlier they, that used to be a very big kind of thing and if there is some kind of conflict between husband and wife then it becomes a big issue for the women of the house uh, also men face some bit of problem also but it becomes a very big issue for the women so that was my background and i thought because i have come from the similar kind of crisis i should help women to overcome this kind of problem their personal struggle women don't have that kind of managerial problems actually they they have been better managers from time immemorial they have managed their house the social social aspect of it and they come from they actually come to another house if they are married and so they are better manager as it is so they they need only to overcome their personal struggles so that they can be better professionals at workplace that is what i realized very recently and then i became uh, women excellence coach because the same thing but now i help women to overcome personal struggle as well leadership and legacy is another and and achieving significance is common to both men and women but overcoming personal struggle has to be something to be uh, resolved within ourselves and those problems are not actually very big but sometimes they become or appear to be big we can we all have that kind of and and the the tool that i actually help women with is the resourceful influencing tool which is in the blood of the women 
already they have resourcefulness and influencing they always do it is just have to be heightened so let me share the screen and uh, also talk so i call this as friday ivatan because yesterday i couldn't do because i got late elsewhere so ivatan is a weekly call wherein i take up one particular issue and talk about uh, women life and then professional life it is for women working professional that i deal with so my gratitude to you and it will take 90 minutes mostly but anyways we can uh, we can have that shorten as well depending upon what the time what what is the need and the you no know, the extent of uh, problem that you have do take some notes so that you can ask the questions at the end and thank you for your patience and the best value that whatever i have i'll i'll only speak from my own experience so uh, that is what and i describe myself as to be very 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 ordinary kind of person like any other lady any other woman whether this woman is literate or illiterate they have their own forte i cannot even think of matching and uh, of course we all have our different skills but we all and some of us are extraordinary of course but as a post i'm very pretty ordinary but i have achieved some something very extraordinary and how i did that is not entirely because of me but because of some system that i followed why not share that system so that whatever i have achieved if it has impacted somebody positively why not give that to some other people so that the impact will be bigger as it is the system is the same for anybody and everybody can follow and and the impact can be bigger so that is where i started if i do it alone then it will be a very small impact so even if it it was very huge in impact it will remain confined to a group of people only but if we can together do it then it, the impact will be huge what do i want i want a huge impact why because i want to live in a very happy society why because i love to be happy and everybody wants to be happy but to create that happiness we need to do something right and that is by helping others to be happy so that is the why i have which is why i am doing this because i cannot scale up all by myself so so my question was do you think that success comes in just one day many people say yes and when they say yes i say that they have been growing and if no what is the trail you leave behind uh, what i mean by that is if success doesn't come in a day then it should come gradually and if it is coming gradually then what has been your journey so far how far you have reached and how far you will go and the entire journey is part of your legacy this is what your uh, children or grandchildren or friend or every other person will know about it that is what legacy is till you are there that legacy will be credited to you if you are not there then they will learn from it they will say that this is the person this is the woman this is the my mother or my sister or my friend who did this which from which i learned so but we can design this trail as well so whatever we have covered so far how how much we have come for, come the <laughs> sorry so whatever distance we have covered so far that is a trail and uh, are you tracking yourself so this is a very important question i ask if you are not tracking yourself actually you would know 
how far you have come. So, at times when you are depressed, we are bound to be depressed at some time or other. Because not every day will be a golden day. Sometimes we will feel something very negative and we will face something very negative. If we are not tracking, then we will not know what has been our success. And I will also say that after two, three successful days, there will be one bad day. You cannot escape that. So what happens when a bad day happens? And if you are depressed, then the next day also will be very depressed. So if you are tracking yourself, then you will know that yes, after three successful days, this is this is a bad day. Next day will be going to be very successful again. So this is what I mean by tracking. And this is a hack. So... When I started teaching people this, I asked them, why are you stuck? And what, what do you mean by stuck? So they told me that they didn't, they were not recognized, not included, not valued, no, they don't feel energy, energetic, they are not heard, not trusted, not promoted, not paid well, not appreciated. So the the reverse of all these is what we are searching for. So if these are the cases, can we do something about it? And this is not the case of just one. This ha happens with each and everybody, each of us. So whoever is stuck, that person faces all that. And who is agitated and who is depressed because of that stuck stuckness? It is the person who has huge potential. Otherwise, there are people who are in their comfort zone. What, whatever happens around, it doesn't matter to them. So, so what do you mean by legacy element? So for me, um, sometimes I have talked about very, uh, think about money, sometimes about success, sometimes fame. Some other people, I don't uh, think about car, bungalow and um, other things, but people think. And this is their idea of success and that is perfectly all right. So, if we can make a change in somebody else's life, that is when it will be long-term legacy. Otherwise, it is just a success in our personal life. So if you fix your objective, you can start now. So if, if you haven't done, I am very sure that you have done something that is why you are here. And unless you have that potential, that fire in you, you will not be here. Because you are not searching, no? Because you are searching for some solution and you are here, you also at this point of time, you have joined here. That means you have something going on inside you and you are learning more. So, but fix that objective knowing that other people are there also in this journey, whether they have told you or not, if you can fix your objective, what you are going to do now, how you are going to define your success, then you can start right now. And at least one person, you can make that change. You can become a role model. And how do you do that? That also we will learn. Role model for that person because you have made this change. And if somebody you see in the similar journey, you can help that person. Relevance of change. So legacy is basically change management. How do you manage change? And what do you mean by change is uh, a lot. Maybe change is something that is not in the slide, but I can tell you. The change sometimes is about losing your job. Change is getting another profile. The profile that you have built up, that is what has been happening throughout my career. And I get depressed when that change happens. But you know, after some time, I like that uh, profile more than the last profile. So, the mindset shift has to happen quickly so that you understand why you have got this kind of 
exchange but it is not very easy it is it is easier said than done so it suppose you lose your job whatever you have built for 12 years 13 years 15 years now is gone from you and you are given a fresh role where you don't have any experience that is not very easy but that gives you learning and if i have gone through that then i i'll talk about that also many times share your personal experience help somebody with a solution and you have a blazing fire within hidden inside you that is why you are here and how do i know my story is i was also not recognized i was ignored i was overworked but not given the due and it hurts willing to take risk yes i was can work harder provided there is a reward but appears to be none in my case, it, it was never there. Not motivated. So what now? Maybe another reason. So why? Why all this, all this class and all this struggle? This is because our success is never a straight line. It is a loop. Sometimes we take, is, take two, three steps forward. Then we go behind because of our uh, certain steps and then again we wake up and we get up and again start forward and after some time after several such loops we our uh, success becomes straight but it takes time and this is the um, sketch from the ceo of linkedin himself so maybe you were laid off. What is the reason which made you stuck? That may be affecting your productivity. Maybe you are giving a chance for others to criticize you. And that makes you look for another job or another change. So what happens when you are a very senior person and you are looking for a change? The change doesn't come easily. It takes time. Normally it takes three to five years. And this is based on the industry data. So if it takes five years and you are operating at 20% productivity le level, then what happens to your potential? You have got a habit to operate at 20% productivity level. And I did a market research as to why people get stuck and what has happened for them to be stuck. I found that it is a lot to do with the personal space rather than the professional space. It always starts with the personal uh, problems. So why not tackle the personal problem first, which is affecting our productivity? Once it affects our productivity, they say this productivity problem, mein aata hai, then we, we have these kind of problems, life decision, work decision, competition, con communication, confidence, everywhere we get affected. So, how to go about it? Recognize the hints from the universe. So when I say that, actually, how do we know? Uh, because I didn't know. Um, so suddenly I, I got a compliment from my super mentor who is an international person. Some, uh, some compliment I got, all of a sudden, I didn't ask for it, that wherever you are put, you can achieve a solution. So that was the, that was a hint uh, from the universe, the latest hint, I would say. Can you think of such a compliment coming to you, any inspiration, whatever is coming to you? If you are looking for some hint from the universe, it will come to you definitely. Find out strength, take help of a mentor, and the moment you are ready uh, to learn the hint, mentor will be there. My strengths are twofold. <clears throat> the, these are to empower people and innovate processes all the time. So these are my strengths. But we can find out your strengths as well. Two strengths you can find out and then we can take it forward because this is an overall uh, scenario. From the legacy point of view, I'm coming. So <clears throat> let us find out two strengths that you have.
and this is my mentor. My mentor appeared and uh, he is responsible for my ability to recognize my previous mentors. So beforehand, whoever was teaching me or giving me feedback, I was, I was kind of feeling some kind of conflict or crisis or uh, some negative mindset. But he allowed me to recognize my first mentor who is my father. And he told me two things. Empower people, be a filmmaker. And my um, recent mentor says that if you allow people to take credit, then you can do a lot more things. So both these statements, for me, it is uh, safe. Play catalyst, it is never a lonely. So if you, if you want to do more, then uh, you, you have to be a catalyst. It is not to your credit that you always look for, but if the credit is coming to me, then I'll do it. If you have this kind of mindset, then also you will not succeed in many cases. So that was the first lessons from my uh, father. Other mentors, so this is my mentor's mentor, who is a new age digital educator. And this is his mentor, who is the advisor of Robert Kiyosaki, the rich dad, poor dad. He is also my mentor, indirect mentor. And sometimes he creates some work, workplace, work uh, shops, which I attend. And in the recent, uh, the latest workshop that I attended, it was a gold uh, certification course that I had with him. And he told me to have the courage, courage to take up things. Whatever he mean, meant by that, he said, just step out of your comfort zone and say that act despite your fear. That is what courage is. And this is the gold certification I got. And the, the system of educating others is the Gurupal system that I am working with. And uh, this is the Freedom Finisher Award. This is another of my mentors who is uh, from Singapore, Mr. Thaddeus Lawrence. He has a product which is called Inner Champion. Uh, this is another, uh, this is Blair Singer again in another class. And these are the 12 uh, mentors from whom I learn all the time. So basically what what are the value system that we have? That is our goal, to achieve our goal, the purpose that we have to live in very purposeful life, the family that we work for, and the values. There is a code of honor, non-negotiable rules that uh, we follow. The values determine our priorities. And there is a little voice mastery. Once you all of us have that little voice inside us and uh, that stops us from taking action. So how to, how to conquer that little voice is two, two things. One is the values, which I have as titles. Titles is uh, tranquility, inclusion, uh, dignity, abundance, learning, and joy. Why I have these six values is because of my background and all. You, each of us has that value at different times and that can change. So what is legacy? This is relevance in change, diversification. Glo the bigger issue is global calming, cooling, and green. That is my ultimate goal. No, the purpose has to be bigger than you said. Diversification is whatever you are doing, can you do a diversification? How can we start working from now? Look at the journey so far, different events, learning and people, create opportunity and support innovation. That is, if you not done so whatever your experience has been, that was that is because you are meant to do something. You are meant for something else. Different events, learnings and people. 
create opportunity and support innovation. Goal setting, smart goals. Everybody will advise you to have smart goals. And these are short-term goals. So uh, in order to track our achievements and all, we need to track these goals also, right? Small goals we need to achieve. In, uh, and, and the goals that we write, those goals have a different uh, thing. Whatever your goal inside, that needs to be revisited and what we need to do. This is the goal setting I have done. I don't know uh, from where. Uh, actually, there is a process to write down when you want to what. Your goals will not come in the exact order that you have written, at the exact time that you have written. It may come very late initially, but faster after some time. So that is my trust. That has always happened. So we'll, when in the, in the process of doing all this, there, this is the process also we'll be doing. Missions inspire us because those are very audacious dreams that we have. And uh, may feel like it, it, it may be abstract at times. Mission is an abstract ultimate goal. And my mission is to help uh, 100,000 women working professional achieve significance in their own terms, despite their, uh, their personal struggles, uh, to contribute towards global calming, cooling, and greening, which, which basically um, is about very healthy living with abundance. Mission statement, uh, it has two parts, three parts actually, what you do, how you do, why you do. Feedback to make a difference. So legacy is the process of legacy is um, how to work towards whatever you are doing. There is a feedback system. Your own tracking is one part and feedback of others will be other part. Is, is a pattern repeating. So whenever I used to be very negative, I used to share uh, about it with somebody. And I had two friends. I still have them. And they, one of them once told me that there is a pattern repeating. Always this same pattern is happening. So if something happens once or twice, it's okay. If it happens for the third time, you should know that uh, this is this is a pattern getting repeated. The mind and our behavior uh, is is uh, is in our control, so we can change that. Think about it. Right? Give it a thought, and that needs to be shifted. And uh, there is two ways of feedback. If it is hindering your growth, your progress, then just stop listening to those kind of feedback. And if there is a specific feedback, very constructive, then please listen to that. Risk-taking calculated adventure, which I have taken, and you might be taking in your life also. Some of them are like I did in Rajasthan in 2008. I... Uh, source 12,000 uh, volunteers to do uh, enumeration of 44 lakh women in two months of time. So 12,000 people were required and I could train them also. Uh, a business plan I could uh, make for people in Meghalaya under the national e-governance project that I handled. And that time there were not much, many business opportunities, but strategically we put those CSC, common services centers around banks and government departments so that these people can earn from the Xeroxing and typing and those kind of exercises. CSCs were places where uh, people, very remote places. Uh, actually, we set up 239 centers across the seven districts of Meghalaya, way back in 2008. 1,500 people I um, trained in the span of two years. 
uh, for the common services center. Then I floated, uh, designed an ecotourism uh, program out there. Then in 2010, I did Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, wherein I learned business analytics to, to track this, uh, track whatever data was there. There was a crisis happened at that time, and I had to track the repayment that was happening. And uh, I learned this, is, this was a new skill. Although I didn't know how to do this, but the part of it, when it was captured by the system, I analyzed it afterwards. In 2011, I was given a responsibility of Bandhavgad Tiger Reserve, fringe villages of Bandhavgad Tiger Reserve, wherein there was uh, only food, there was food insufficiency, which is why people were going to the jungle. Because there was no fencing. And if fencing is not going to be able to tell you that there is a fringe area and a buffer area, a core area. है. So they were getting attacked by the tiger because there was a face to face encounter with the tiger and there were many casualties. So I, I, I helped those people learn about. Herbal cultivation, SRI, integrated farming, and mustard hybrid mustard cultivation, which would, which actually improved their lot step by step. There were ladies in two clusters, uh, which were uh, who um, there was a uh, these were the ladies actually who were instrumental in bringing out food sufficiency in that area. So there was women empowerment as well. These ladies were in two clusters and they were board member of uh, that uh, um, community-based organization that we have formulated. They won 17 awards in four years. This is Devdi uh, who won that uh, award in uh, say from CIL and uh, must start a cultivation production record. These people broke and they had a corpus of 36 lakhs. All these are extraordinary achievements. And they became leaders, they became board members of uh, the district governing board under the, uh, under the leadership of the collector. And they won one award from the then Chief Minister, Mr. Narendra Bhut. She told one thing that micro capital concept. If we have, we generate micro, some capital, then we can escape poverty. And she won this award from the, uh, from the then industry minister, Mr. Anand Sharma. Another farmer uh, won one award from the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation. A lady won uh, as a leader. Um, Best SG leader award from the then Andhra Pradesh governor. And one grassroots worker is now a CEO of a, of a farmer cooperative out there. This is my colleague who is now in UNDP. And then my uh, profile change happened. So this is, change is the essence of the legacy that you form, right? So here also I in the HR system, my contribution is uh, to create the second and third rank leaders so that uh, in emergency, they can take over. If I take a better uh, profile, then they can take over in time. So the next, uh, next um, change that happened was I revived a Dead water set program in Kuti. I was given uh, I was uh, given recognition by uh, by being sent to Canada for a study tour and won several awards for myself also. So the knowledge development is the next. Uh, whatever we learn, that knowledge development is the next part of legacy. This this actually help the organization to develop the culture of 
uh, assimilating knowledge and creating a trail of knowledge as to what has been learned and develop your insight in the process actually your own insight can be uh, uh, improved and keep doing it constructive criticism yes uh, from the feedback slide we already um, talked about that and discussion reflection and impl implementation this is a process to be uh, followed everywhere every time collaborate with other uh, people who have some other talent than you that saves time and achieves the outcome faster think critically People from different background will come to your team and they will see obstruct. It is not a matter of conflict. It is just that their experience is something different. And why not take all those inputs and create something uh, and think critically and be prepared with plan A, B, C. Sometimes till Z. Why not? Growth mindset. Right now, whatever uh, version you are, maybe your abstract mission cannot be achieved with this kind of version that you are in. It requires your version jump to happen. New ideas. Have a mastermind. Brainstorm with them periodically. This, these are the areas where the, you can brainstorm. You don't know where to brainstorm, how your team should be built so that you can do brainstorm. What is the process of brainstorming? Navigating workplace issues, this is a huge thing, how your team is there. So power building will be one of the area that we can talk of and put a standard operation in place so that there is no confusion happening. Uh, I, I had a discussion with one of the person who, say, who says, who said that he has six companies, but all the places there is employee problem. So I asked him whether he has uh, HR manual, operation manual in place or not. He didn't have. So I asked him, can I help? So he also didn't come back with that. So these are the issues People will have the same kind of issues time and again, but they will not reach out for help or they will not go for better, um, better options. Strategic moves, consolidate on the previous. The best strategic move is nothing extraordinary, but always think of the ways how you can consolidate your previous experiences. Whatever experiences were there, can we weave, interweave and create something extraordinary? So that is the strategic move that you can have. Actually, whatever we have experiences beforehand, our next job is 80% of that. Only 20% we need to learn. Manage ambiguity. Your boss says something, your super boss says something. This is what I mean by ambiguity. So conflict of interest, even though people are in the same direction, they will have different of opinion. So how to manage that in a team? Conversations, this has to be a regular practice. Value to teammates, applauding achievements and give the credit to others, as I say, help the team build better profiles. The same resume needs to be described according to the required profile. So this, the step by step we will uh, study this, how your same profile, every time, today also I was reading something, we are selling, so how to sell to people. So every moment we are selling ourselves, why? Because whatever we are doing, how this can be of value to other people. But this has to be congruent with our own thought process. We cannot say something borrowed. If we all ka idea leki, hum usko bol nahi sakte. That will not come from our heart. 
presentation templates these are the basic thing about communication you know sometimes what happens people go for communication but they never prepare any report ye kabhi aapne dekha hai ye maine kai baar dekh li people whoever has this communication problem they don't prepare report so we'll create some presentation templates and those are the standard templates which will which will be helpful at any place stress management these documents help in categorizing work to stress management is about not taking too much work onto your plate at the same time and how do you categorize those work some of the work will be done immediately some of the work will be delegated some of the work will be done later and some of the work not to be done right so if you are able to categorize your work in these manner Di diversification and inclusion um, is one thing this is this is an aspect of this is what i mean by there are people in your team which are who who are not actually you so they have come with different view points because of their experience now if because there is difference of opinion if there is a conflict then there is a problem out there so people will be from different uh, area but can you include them in whatever you are doing this is what i took uh, in the beginning when um, i started doing this because joy is the most where your consciousness is expanded as i said this version of yours might not achieve that mission but if you go for a gradual progression sometimes your uh, version number 10 might achieve that mission so what will be your version number 10 which will be achieving that mission might be that is not possible to outline right now but how do they behave can we sketch that kind of personality then uh, few of those uh, elements are action over excuses when i said might not might be we cannot do all those things those people don't think that way they think how can we do what does it take to do in that way transformational laser so if you have laser laser then how do you utilize it so saturday sunday is my laser point weekends can we utilize this time for something greater you are enough know your work that is that is the biggest self doubt self doubt is the biggest enemy he keep educating yourself as a key right now if you take one step your distance will be smaller right so that that uh, taking that small action one step at a time it actually helps those baby steps and education this is my so i have made this system and this is the system here in there are two aspects i call this is a resourceful influencer uh, technique there is a 10p framework which is the tool which is the uh, skill set of course and uh, these these are the tool set it starts this i call as drip it starts with differentiating yourself creating resilience then influencing and then achieving prominence and the mindset part is aha 
attitude, habit, action, and perception. It leads to uh, achieving personal, uh, overcoming your personal struggles. Second is creating resilience and prominence, um, significance, uh, influence. It also helps in leadership growth. And finally, you become an influencer. So the, the focus is not on achieving the designation. The focus is on achieving significance in whatever role you are. Even if you are a boss, you don't have much of a power at times. But if you are an influencer, you always have the power. Getting it? So we will be talking about uniquely packaged USP, your expertise, how to establish that expertise, and three will be in syncness, which is the legacy portion that we are discussing right now wherein you will not be uh, part of just one company. Even when you are you retire, you know you can do a lot. You can serve another uh, industry as well. That is what I call as in -singles. So basically it is about uniqueness, um, the resilience and significance. Strategies are, as I said, uniqueness, resilience, influence, and connect. And uh, in, in this entire journey, you become from protagonist to game changer. So as soon as you realize that you can do make a change, you become a protagonist from nobody. And <clears throat> eventually, you become a game changer. In between, you achieve... 10 different significance also. This is uh, what I call as 10P resourceful influence. In the first phase, as soon as you recognize that you can make a change, it is a personality makeover. Choose who you want to be. Next is personal abilities. You become a thought magician. Content competency stories will be developed. Third is the productivity. You become a pioneer and um, you will, your resourcefulness ideas will be do, um, compiled here. Fourth is punctuality, time efficiency. Fifth is power bonding, team building, as we call it. Uh, sixth, sixth is priority, decision making, Pareto formula. You should know how much you can do so that you can manage your stress. Pattern of response, become a storyteller, style, skill, strategy, and presentation also. Poise with your mindset, you become graceful. Mindfulness, aha method, that is when you become signing signatory. And the ultimate is passion, game changer, mentoring, collaboration, and community. So who, who you will become? A, a unicorn who is a high-valued individual, right? This is the story. My background is a, I am a mathematics postgraduate with 25 plus years of experience, but never done anything about mathematics. This is my family and my extended family. Key patterns in my life, single mother of two children with huge responsibility. Professional life got affected because of personal problems. Fast worker saved budget but was not proving skill or strategy. So the turning point came when I attended a HR workshop meant for HR professional. I was not an HR professional, but I designed the HR policy of my organization and presented. And that actually uh, was a huge turnaround point. Got selected to an organization with 5,000 employees. And then the shift in my pattern happened. I now started focusing on challenging tasks. So the turnaround point is, it was a shock getting into that huge organization. This, I, I, did, I didn't think I could have uh, no one picked up by that big company. But it happened. And then suddenly the atmosphere was such the shift was such that I couldn't be a boss. 
but I could do challenging tasks that was in front of me. And, and I chose that. Why not focus on challenging tasks rather than becoming thinking of becoming the boss? It is so easy to do. And that is my superpower. What about yours? Dream, then the designation. My dream of uh, contributing significantly was bigger than the designation. Then there was, then I was, I because I achieved those, then I was getting into a comfort zone. So a nudge from the universe became, and then I had to leave that comfort where I worked for 10 years. And I got into a company, which is RBI recognized, where I work till now. And I got to work with Professor Mohammed Yunus, a Nobel laureate. My defining moments were when COVID happened, my digital journey started. I was thinking of having resources so that I can replicate my journey. So it required, say, at least five proofs and which was very difficult to get. So the COVID actually gave me an opportunity that I can digitally empower people also and replicate whatever I have achieved so far. So much of possibility are there around, but and so much uh, potential to leverage. So it is all for us to leverage. Now I have a YouTube channel. I do podcast every day. Whether there is some audience or not, I, I create this piece of content. So it goes and enriches my YouTube. So I don't bother whether you are here or not. You have to have patience to listen to this. Of course, I have to develop that style, but this is my style. If you want, then you can leverage this also. The path. Can I use my life story to lead the path? That is what each of us learn from our life story and start contributing. So what made me stuck was anger, grief, and grievances. All personal setbacks. So that is why I have chosen the human uh, working professional to bring the solution. And uh, women can do uh, better at the leadership formula. Empathy, rapport, trust, a strong relationship influence. It comes easy to women. And the three secrets, as I say, USP, expertise, and legacy. What is your self-talk? What is your personal personality type? Why, how do you achieve what you want? So these are the some of the questions that you can outline your own personality and nothing wrong, nothing right. Do you believe in strategic positioning? Do you, uh, how do you, how do you make more of your expertise? Problem analysis and handling challenges. Action point and presentation skill. How do you uh, create daily wins? Because creating daily wins and becoming joyful is very essential to a strategic leadership. Do you observe, reflect, rectify, tweak? or journal them regularly. That is what we'll be doing. Resourcefulness, optimum use of time, budget, HR, ideas, intelligence, all those. Mentoring, second line leaders, handling change, overcoming ambiguity, play to the potential. Legacy is subject matter expertise. The coaching path that I have designed is the first is the leadership uh, growth blueprint, uh, wherein we will learn the difference that we have in our uh, personality. So, which string we will uh, undertake four or two five? We will create sorry, unbeatable USP by taking this four days. We'll do that. Rearranging resume with uniqueness. This can be three, four varieties that will redraft, rephrase, realign. And uh, week three will be ma managing personal issues, whatever uh, personal issues is uh, 
<clears throat> holding you back resilience productivity credibility overcoming procrastination consolidation progress and then week 4 will be mastering communication all the presentation template that that are there these will be uh, will be mastered then uh, yes so we will repeat with this kind of thing this these are part of the influence thing team building also will learn efficiency and then building industry agnostic expertise learn a digital skill is the most but whatever skills you have that we can interrupt. So this will be in week five. This is about passion, innovation, and then the bonuses. Bonuses are many, but uh, three initially, interview readiness, beyond the world, and the complete stack is available. At, uh, it, it is about 59,994. This actually five, but it will be a special uh, price if you do it within fifteen minutes. Why? Because the because it took me twelve years to find out the problem plaguing me, and this time could have been saved, but the solution escaped me. Except somebody watching me pointed out that it was a pattern. We do the same thing and expect different results. We treat the problem at superficial level while deep down there is a requirement of one simple fix. This is why. I want you to take the decision and this decision will kind of turn around your life if you believe or not. So why not take that decision and create a turn around in your life? So this is all uh, from me. And if you have any question, you can let me know, right? So let me stop sharing. Any question anybody has, then you can put below this video, then we can discuss.